Hello, good people of the interwebs. This is the Bad Mini Painter, and uh, today we are painting up a Morsock uh, Scrag Bad. Morsock Scrag Bad? Bad, bad. Anywho, normally I would uh, show the model uh, in its uh, nice and clean uh, grey form, um, but I forgot to record that. So here it is uh, primed with the AK um, white primer. I think I used that one. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the problem with this primer is that it's it's a bit uh, smooth, so the paint doesn't really adhere that well to it. Anywho, Berserker Red from Two Thin Coats, alternatively something like Corn Red. This is a little darker than Corn Red, but uh, it's, it's basically like a, a dark red for the inside of uh, the mouth. Uh, pink Horror for the tongue. And I kind of, um, I kind of uh, mixed it in a little bit with the uh, wet um, Berserker red, um, and it added a, a pretty nice effect on the tongue. It's hard to see, but trust me, it's there. Uh, white star from Two Thin Coats. If you hate yourself, you can use white scar from Cisadel, um, and uh, that's for the underside of the body of the white squeak uh, squeak uh, the, the monster the beast uh, for the top part i decided to go with the space exterior from the army paint and it's a very light gray um, it's lighter than uh, a paint like celestial gray from uh, army painter um, i could have thinned that one down but since i had a color that pretty much matched perfectly what i wanted i decided to use that one but just a very light gray and it's just from the top and down. And um, where the white meets the gray, I try to make that uh, as natural as possible. So it's not a hard line, but uh, a smooth transition kind of thing. Uh, one of my favorite uh, contrast paints uh, is uh, God uh, Rip of Flesh from uh, Citadel. Because it's just perfect for uh, the kind of off skin that I want to paint. And normally I would have done this in, in six or seven layers. Of different kinds of uh, of green, uh, but um, in this way I get a really really vibrant uh, green flesh skin color tone thing, and it's just it, it looks really good. And the effort is uh, like below minimum, which is what I like. Uh, next, I decide to go in with some light gray wash all over the body, um, mainly to add some texture uh, because the recesses are going to be filled with another color. Um, but it's to add some texture to the skin. I, I do clean up fairly heavily afterwards, but uh, it gives a nice little effect. Uh, for all the metal parts, I decided to go with iron hand steel, and that's because all my lead belcher is, uh, well, thick as a dry paint, um, and um, my gun metal has separated into uh, medium and uh, pigment. So, yeah. So, iron hand steel. And that's for all the metal parts, and there's quite a bit on this model. Uh, for some reason, the, the monster has a, a, an exhaust system, which is, you know, why not? Um, and there's guns and trickens and uh, hooks and stuff all over the model. So, iron hand steel for all the metal. And then, uh, uh, Gehenna's gold. Um, for select parts of the metal. Um, I wanted to... Well, first I considered using my bright bronze, as I always do, but I wanted something a little bit warmer, and uh, then I discovered that uh, this particular paint actually hasn't imploded on itself, uh, so I decided to use that one. And it, it was a fairly decent choice. It's, it's a nice contrast from the um, Iron Hand steel. Basilicanum grey uh, contrast color uh, for the teeth. Um, and this is just basically me following uh, the box art. Um, and uh, an easy way to achieve the effect from the box art was to use a contrast. Uh, and it ended up looking almost perfect uh, compared to, to what I actually wanted it to. I do the same for the claws on the non uh, prosthetic leg. Rhinox hide for leather straps and uh, for the saddle. 
Um, and that's again just basically all over the model. Wherever there's a leather strap, I use rhinoxide hide. It's, it's very dark, almost reddish brown. And it, it, I think it works well, especially when you have a very light model, it, it adds a really nice contrast. So that's why I decided to go with that. Morphang brown or uh, another Citadel brown, uh, any kind of brown would have done the same job. But I, I like the leathery look of this. Uh, Skulker yellow, which has become my new favorite yellow uh, from Two Thin Coats. Um, for the... What is this, actually? Decoration, a uh, banner, I guess it's a banner, for the back banner. Scrag brown for the leather satchel and for the boots uh, on this model. Uh, and this again, I could have done this in uh, my Nox hide thing uh, as well, but uh, to add some variation, a bit of interest, why not switch it up a bit uh, and do another color, right? And since I'm going to slap all of it uh, with the brown wash from uh, Vallejo later, it's yeah, it, it, it's going to be dug down because it, it was a little bit too bright for my taste. For his pants, I decided to use a Death Corpse uh, drab because it's a dark green. It I don't know. I, I, I felt like it would look good. And I was kind of right. And if my fat hands weren't blocking everything, you would give me, like, you would be able to see so as well. But hey, what can you do? Ivory Tusk from uh, Tooth and Coats for uh, the white armor plating. Uh, I want it to be uh, dirty. So I decided to use an off white color for it. And there are some armor plates here and there uh, around on the model. Next up, Mephiston Red. Um, I actually gave the eyes a little dab with it as well. Uh, I'm going to change my mind and do something else later. But uh, else is for the red uh, decorations on his uh, prosthetic arm, his middle arm, his little. Uh, above uh, for some tassels and for the um, spikes on the banner. He, he also, for some reason he has a, like a red robe around his forearm. It's it, yeah, it's it's okay. He's a uh, he's a uh, fashion aware. This one. Next we do some core non oil, non oil. <laughs> Not all for all the metal. And I'm trying to be super careful not to hit the skin because that would, uh, that would be annoying. And since the skin actually came out looking fairly decent, I really didn't want to fuck it up. Next, brown wash, and uh, that's for all the armor, all the leather, and all that good stuff. And just generally uh, trying to um, make sure that it doesn't cloth too much. Next up, uh, I made a lace with Wild Rider Red. It's something I've started doing and it gives a pretty cool effect. Uh, so what I basically do is, uh, I'm not thinning it with a medium or water, uh, but with air, airbrush flow improver, because I have an airbrush. Um, and it makes it uh, runny without making it uh, patchy. Uh, Pellet Bone from, uh, from Army Painter, one of their speed paints for the teeth uh, and the skull on the back um, on the model. Next, Corvus Black, and that's for the belt straps and um, the stitches uh, on the beast. Um, 
and I think that was basically it. Oh yeah, also the tube. There's a tube. Mm. And as soon as it's uh, latex, uh, latex or rubber, and it has to be black, I use Corvus Black because it has this kind of matte uh, effect to it. Next I take uh, Purple Alchemy and I mix it about 5 to 1 with the Airbrush Flow Improver, which makes it incredibly runny. So if you want to uh, get it to run into recesses, that's the way to do it. And it, it works pretty well. Um, it, of course, it also uh, dulls down the pigmentation, so the color is not that uh, bright. But when you want uh, this kind of pale, fleshy pink, um, it works really well. Um, and uh, I want to be humble, but I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now for the eyes, uh, I decided to give them a Spirit Stone uh, from Citadel. It's a technical paint and it dries up uh, really glossy. It's kind of like a glass effect that I thought would be pretty cool for the eyes. And I feel like I was right. And as a final touch, I've decided that this is blood. So, blood for the blood guard, technical paint from Citadel, on uh, on this little dribble. And the final product looks like this. I really like the effect of the purple alchemy. Um, it comes pretty close to the box art, which is more or less always what I am um, going for. Also, the gut river flesh makes the flesh so extremely easy to paint. Uh, it is just lovely. Anywho, I hope you found uh, some of the information in this video useful. If you did, or enjoyed uh, listening to me rambling on, please do leave a like, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. It makes me happy. Um, besides that, have an awesome day. Thank you so much for your time. I know it's limited. And I'm glad that you decided to spend roughly 30 minutes listening to me. Bye.